Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the Blade 200 SRX from Horizon Hobby. This is a single rotor, fly barless, brushless helicopter with a six axis stabilization system, or they call SAFE technology here, SAFE, um, which quadcopters have been using for quite some time. Uh, it's basically, you know, it uses accelerometers to do auto leveling and limit the amount of bank that you can give. Uh, and it's only recently come to helicopters. Uh, so I'm calling this the quadcopter pilot's helicopter. Because if you can fly a quadcopter well, you can fly this helicopter. It is very similar in its flight characteristics. Uh, being that it has auto leveling, you know, if you give forward input and stop, it'll level back out, or turn the, or you know, drift to the left and right and stop, it'll level back out. Uh, whereas before, with just three axis gyros, if you turn it to the left, it's going to keep going to the left until you give right input to level it back out. Um, and then it also limits how much you can angle, so you don't end up getting too out of control. You can give full stick input, and it'll only angle so much. And it has two different modes of uh, stability, where you have a low angle, where it only lets you tilt that much or whatever, and then high angle, where it'll let you tilt a little bit more. And then it has agility mode, which turns off the six axis and just uses your standard three axis gyro. And you know it'll it'll not auto level. You can uh, you can do flips with it and all that kind of stuff um, and fly you know more like expert mode. Um, it comes with a, I got the blind, bind and fly version, there is a ready to fly version that comes with a transmitter, uh, but the bind and fly version comes with a battery and it has a, it's a three cell 800 milliamp hour battery, and it also comes with a balanced charger that has these like battery plugs, but it also comes with a wall adapter for it. And then it comes with a handful of spare parts. Oh man, almost knocked my DX8 off the table. That would have sucked. Uh, so it has some spare parts, you know, little uh, straps and stuff to, you know, attach all the electronics and whatnot, and little double sticky tapes and um, some linkages and grommets and stuff. So let's get all that out of the way and show you the helicopter. Um, so now I was overly excited by the fact that it has a, this little blade holder thing here. I think that's just too cool for a helicopter this small. Usually you only see those in big helicopters. So I thought that was just really cool to have that. Um, so here it is. The, um, the blades out of the box were really stiff. Like they would, they would barely even move. They would hold their position and I could hold it on the angle and they'd stay. Um, in... From what I've heard, like when I when I flew it with the stiff blades like that, it had a lot of wobble to it. So you should loosen the blades up so that they fall when you hold it at an angle. They should freely move like that, because um, you know when it's spinning, the the you know uh, the momentum will keep the blades stiff and straight out. But that that allows it to you know kind of have a little bit of correction and it doesn't wobble when you've got the blades loose like that. Um, but it is, it's brushless motor, and tail and uh, the main motor are both brushless. And I think that's pretty cool with the, uh, the three-bladed tail rotors, pretty neat looking. Um, there have been reports about the tail motor overheating and failing, and you know, people have failures where it'll just start spinning in a circle because the tail dies on them. That has not happened to me, and I've flown mine for quite some time. And it doesn't even really get warm. I mean, it is barely warm to the touch. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. Uh, it's also reported that some of the issues were because the tail prop was on wrong. So just make sure that you know you've got the tail prop on on properly. If you have it on backwards, you know, flipped over the other way, that can cause problems. And you know, I wouldn't suggest flying numerous batteries back to back. Let the motors cool down and overheating shouldn't be a problem. Uh, so let's take the canopy off here. You just got two little grommets that you kind of pop off there. And those can be pretty tight, so you gotta kind of hold on to them and make sure you don't pull them out of the canopy uh, because they are just rubber plugs through the canopy there and they can pop out, so keep an eye on those. Um, so here your, your battery goes in the front here 
And one thing I found a little bit, you know, worrying is this, this servo is so close to the battery tray here. Let's uh, open this up. So if you aren't careful when mounting your battery, you could put your battery on too far back and end up blocking that servo from being able to move. So I always make sure to kind of put the servo down as far as it'll go so I, I can see where it wants to reach and then make sure to, to put the battery where you, you've left clearance there and it's not touching that servo and you've got plenty of room there. And so then you've got um, Velcro on the helicopter and on the battery and then you've also got this Velcro strap to tighten it in on there. And so there's your battery. Um, the battery can take you know an hour to charge if you charge at your standard 1C like you're supposed to. And the manual tells you to set your timer for 8 minute flights. But I've gotten mine to fly as long as 16 minutes and still didn't hit LVC. Um, LVC is just, you only see a red uh, light blinking on the control board here. So it's a little bit hard to see from a distance, uh, but you'll notice the helicopter losing power before you hit LVC. And I flew to 16 minutes and it still didn't hit LVC, but I was starting to have to use like 100% throttle uh, to get any kind of height. Uh, but really long flight times. Um, let's see. Oh, and there's a, there's been a lot of talk about it being underpowered, which I think is intentional because this is kind of geared towards beginners with, you know, the whole safe technology and the size is really nice to fly in small areas. And you don't have a lot of, you know, dangerous, you know, responsibility of a huge helicopter. Uh, so I think they geared it around beginners and there's not a lot of pitch to the blade. I mean, you can see it's just barely, it's barely angled. And so I think it's a combination of a, the low pitch on the blades, and then they've also dialed the gains down. So it takes quite a bit of throttle. I mean, it takes like 80% throttle probably to hold a hover, and like 100% throttle to kick it up off the ground. So you kind of have to be on top of the throttle. If you know, if you let the helicopter drop too fast, you don't have a lot of throttle to punch out of that. So you kind of have to be on top of throttle management. Um, but I haven't had a problem with it. I, I think it works pretty well, actually. I, I like the, the uh, amount of throttle it has. And there is, uh, you can change the gain settings. There's gain settings for the main motor and the tail motor. So I'm going to at some point experiment with that and try turning up the gain to like 200% and see what kind of difference it makes and I will certainly be making a video about that and letting people know you know what what kind of game settings to use and the differences to expect to see from that uh, but you know that's about all I have to say about it it's just a really cool helicopter great look I like the the canopy looks really nice and kind of sporty and futuristic it flies just absolutely, it's just so, so enjoyable to fly. It's just a pleasure, low stress, you know, that normally, like, I've always, I've flown helicopters for about six years now, and I still, every time I fly a helicopter, I'm a little bit nervous. There's just a little bit of stress involved with it. But this, with the six-axis stabilization, is just completely stress-free, carefree, enjoyable flying. I mean, it, it feels like flying a quad. It is just, it's stable, it's easy, it, it you know, levels itself out, and there, there's even um, a safe, like a, I forget, oh, panic recovery switch, so they call it here. So, you know, when you bind it to your radio, which I'm using my DX8 here, the trainer button becomes a panic button. So if I'm flying in agility mode and you know trying to do stunts and get out of control, you can press and hold the trainer button and it'll turn stability back on and level itself out. Uh, so it makes it nice and easy for you. And then you've got, you know, you switch through different modes with your F switch. So you've got, you know, uh, stability, high angle stability and agility, and then you can set up dual rates and all that, you know, depending on what radio you use, you'll have different options, but even with the RTF radio, you'll have, you know, your different modes and your panic switch. 
so just a really a really pleasurable enjoyable helicopter to fly uh, all right and you may have already seen my maiden flight review of it so you you may know what it looks like flying already but let's go take it for another quick spin All right, this is the flight review of the 200 SRX from Blade, and I am out at a special filming location here. This is Allerton State Park in Illinois. This is the Sunsinger statue, so I figure this would be a cool backdrop for the flight review. I'm out here for my brother's wedding, and of course I had to bring some RCs with me. So let's give her a flight. And I'm flying in the... Uh, the middle rates, the like the high angle uh, stability mode, 100% rates. Just kind of give her a spin. Pretty calm out here. Maybe two or three mile an hour wind. So pretty nice for flying. A little overcast, but. At least we got a cool background, something a little different than the, uh, the little spot there across the street from my house. This thing is just so much fun to fly. And this is just normal gain settings. I haven't messed with the gains yet, uh, but I do plan to experiment with that. See what kind of difference it makes. Man, I love flying this thing. You can tell when I'm having fun when I just go speechless. <laughs> Not much to say, just enjoying it. I mean, the stabilization system makes it, you can just go crazy with it. I can do things with this helicopter I've never, never even attempted with other helicopters just because it doesn't feel safe. But this just feels so confident and stable and easy to correct. If it gets out of control, you just kind of let off the right stick and let it sort of level itself back out. That's full throttle. It's a little hard to see there against the gray sky. Alright, let's take her in for a landing. I think that was a pretty good sample. Nice and easy. Alright, that is that. That is the Blade 200 SRX with the uh, flying with the Sun Singer at Allerton Park in the background. Cool, cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you next time.